You should buy a C6 Corvette. I absolutely love my 2010 Corvette. It is a base model and it is an automatic. And it's still just such a great car for the value. Now, before I do anything crazy, or before I do some little bit of pulls here and there, I will be getting some gas because this thing is quite fuel efficient whenever you're driving it normally, but when you're not driving it normally, it is guzzle, guzzle, guzzle. So yeah, we're gonna head down to Bucky's real quick. The fact that there is over 200 gas pumps at Bucky's is actually insane. I gotta hold my door so the wind doesn't blow into the net. Oh, it's windy today. But yeah, here is my car. I absolutely love it. 2010 3LT. It's got the chrome five spokes. That's what all them car channels do. The butt looks good, pretty wide. Just got them nice five spokes. I also got some Pilot Sport 4s on this. We're gonna ignore the front end. We're gonna look at the front end from this side because the other side is not that great right now. Uh, I will be getting the bumper fixed soon. So yeah, my fault. Oopsies, a little crack in it. Let's get this bitch rolling. idea if this angle's good because I flipped my phone and I put it in 0.5. Should be a little better. You guys might be able to get more of a view from it. But yeah, let's just do a little little drive. What it's like to daily a C6. I'm just kind of going on the interstate back to Denton, back to UNT. That's where I study right now. Now there's different types of Corvette owners for sure. There's the ones who keep it bone stock and then the the younger ones who mod it out. I plan on modding this thing a little bit after I get my bumper fixed. Driving it outside of sport though is pretty fucking nice. Uh, just extremely comfortable stock suspension. The, the seats are fucking pretty great. They don't hug you. I mean, you're supposed to, you know, most of the time ideally you'd want some buckets, something nice like that. But these are actually very comfortable. You get adjusted bolstering and lumbar support if you get the 3LT here on this. Mm. Just sounds pretty fucking good. It's pretty pretty good stock, right? Especially with the paddles. Negatives 
off the top of my head, but yeah. I guess the only thing that I'd have to say is if you get the automatic transmission, the paddle shifting is very weird. Now I can get maybe show you what it's like. Now what's really weird about these paddle shifters, you can shift with any hand you want. It's pretty fucking weird. Let's say I'm driving with one hand and I'm using my right hand. You would upshift. I'm in I'm in drive right now, so don't worry. You would upshift like this by pressing forward on this button right here. And the way how you downshift is you just click it from back here. So you downshift. There's another Corvette, another red C5. Wonderful. It's the second one I've seen. But yeah. It's weird, so that means you can shift with both hands, but what I like to do, usually pretend that my left hand's on it, is I downshift with my left hand and upshift with my right thumb like this, and yeah, it's definitely abnormal, but I, I do enjoy it. This guy behind me is being annoying. I gotta get, I gotta move over. But yeah, this isn't a full car review. I do eventually want to be able to get some POV drivings of this, but in order to do that without a GoPro, I'd have to do it one hand, which is a little bit dangerous, especially during the day. But I'd love to get a nighttime point of view of driving this thing. It'd be fucking fantastic. Oh, that's pretty sick. That was a Dodge Magnum RT, and that thing was actually pretty loud. I like the Magnums. The fucking station wagons, I think, are pretty cool. Oh my god. But yeah, I kind of just want to talk about the, the car a little bit. Uh, I will, once I get the bumper fixed, I'll probably do a video of it. I'll get it nice and shiny, nice and clean. I'll, I'll, I'll do a walk around. I'll do an interior tour too. I'll just tell y'all about some little quirks that it has. Not full Doug DeMuro style. I probably won't get a tripod, but yeah, I'll, I'll probably do a little review on it and give you guys reasons why you should buy a fucking C6 Corvette. Thank you guys for watching this. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.